to be an animal? Zebra. Hmm? Zebra. Zebra. Mm. <laughs> it's because I gave you the name Zebra. Mm -hmm. you just like always, I told you the other time when you told me you're going to call me Zebra. I was like, oh, that's my favorite yeah, 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 yeah. It's so cute and so chilled, you know, and it looks like it minds its own business. But it gets eaten a lot. Mm, I know. It is the final week. Z and Sinaye, they are seriously dishing this shipping content like say tomorrow no day. I hope you all are enjoying Zinaye shippers. I hope you all are having fun. I hope you all are taking all the things Z and Sinaye are bringing to the table. Honestly speaking, I really like how Z and Sinaye are enjoying this final week. It may seem as though Z and Sinaye are the only people enjoying this final week to the fullest from stealing a hog and doing lovey-dovey stuff at the kitchen to picnic at the garden to be quite frank with all of you guys this shipping content they are serving it in fact it is premium they are serving premium shipping content and i hope and i see and i know that shippers they are really enjoying it to the fullest guys honestly i think i really enjoy all the conversation they had during their picnic at the garden in fact it was even when sinai was not asking z if you are to be animal which animal would that be and z said zebra and while she was explaining why she chose zebra the question that sinai asked her Guys, I was just like, Senaye, what kind of question was that? Because you know why? Why? Nice meat. <laughs> it's got the cat. And you like to get eaten a lot. No, I don't. <laughs> it was even the way she was demonstrating while explaining why she chose zebra. And Senaye decided to make the matter worse by saying, it's got the cat and you like to get eaten all the time. And the way Z immediately said no, that she does not like to be eaten. Honestly, that part really got me laughing out loud. The way I was just laughing out loud, I was just like, if I could laugh like this, me that is not a shipper, how will shippers be feeling right now? Anyways, I think Z and Sinaye, they really look good together. Honestly speaking, if they had sheep in that house, Honestly, I really feel that, you know, it would have made their game very, very interesting, honestly. And I think they would have, in fact, let me not just say too much about that, but I feel if they two had sheep in the house, it would have made their game very, very interesting. Away from that, to be quite honest, last night was very, very interesting in Big Brother and Zamzi Season 4 mansion as Big Brother provided the pictures of both the evicted and disqualified Big Brother and Zamzi Season 4 housemates. For the top 6 housemates to say what they feel and think about the housemates that we are no longer in the house. Honestly, it was quite interesting. It was quite fun to watch. It was quite entertaining. This housemate had a whole lot to say. Some of them made a shocking, interesting, and unbelievable revelation. The likes of Papa Ghost, the likes of Mpumi. The li Guys, honestly, I really think that I enjoyed each and every in fact let me start unpacking let me start downloading because guys they said a whole lot remember why the housemates they were in the house saying what they feel what they think about the already evicted and disqualified housemate there was a serious chaos on social media as fans we are not finding some of the things the top six housemates we are seeing about their favorite funny at all most especially what Papa Go said about Yolanda, what Mpumi said about Liema. Guys, watch to the end of this particular video because we are in for another interesting hot gist. Subscribe to the channel if you don't subscribe. Click on the notification bell button and do not forget to like and share this particular video. So let me start from the most funniest one to me. Z talked about how young papi is just like a younger brother to her and how she enjoyed the hug, the kisses and everything she ever did with young papi in that house and how she cannot even wait to reunite with young papi outside the house. Kai just was Z say her piece. Um, young papi was, is very close to my heart, still is very close to my heart because I shared so much with him, stuff that I've never shared with anyone in this house, anyone sitting here right now. Guys, I know this may sound weird, but I was really young papi's oldest sister. Mm. You know, I was playing that ro role. In a, in a way, in a way. 
I miss all his jokes and I miss his cuddles and I miss his kisses. <laughs> Guys, to be quite frank, Z was very, very funny with the way she explained everything she did with young papi, how she missed everything she and young papi did. But the part that really confused and surprised me was the part where she said she was acting the role of elder sister. Did any of you notice that as well? Because honestly speaking, that part of playing a role of elder sister, I don't think I really understand that part. Out of all the things she said about young papi, I think that particular part really confused and shocked and surprised me because I was just like, Z, playing a role of elder sister under the duvet, I'd be... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't want to really dwell too much on that, but you know, Z had a whole lot to say about Young Papi, and it was quite fun and interesting. Meanwhile, guys, Bravo B, yo. Guys, the way Mpumi really made us to remember Bravo B, she talked a whole lot of good things about Bravo B. In fact, at some point, it was quite emotional. I almost cried listening to Mpumi say some beautiful things about Bravo B. Just listen to some of the things Mpumi said about Bravo B that generated a whole lot of reaction on social media. Bravo B was funny, man. Like, the conversations we had listening to him and where he comes from and what he's willing to do with this money. I personally feel, felt like any one of us here deserved it, but I felt like Bravo B was going to win. Like, had Bravo B stayed here, I don't care what any other person said in this house. If Lawrence were to say the winner is Bravo B, I feel like everyone would be like... He deserves it, not because of any other thing, but because of his character. Guys, Mpumi was very, very emotional talking about Bravo B, his disqualification, and the possibility that Bravo B would have won this shoe, hands down. Honestly speaking, all the things that Mpumi said about Bravo B, it is undisputable. She was spitting fat. She said the truth. And guys, honestly, I was shocked and surprised that I went on social media. People were dragging Mpumi left and right, front and back, saying that and um, she think that saying all these things will make people. In fact, honestly, I don't know why people will always find one way or the other to drag someone. You and I know that Bravo B was a strong personality he was a strong character despite the fact that he spent four days in big brother house four solid days in big brother's house honestly speaking i really think that bravo b had the potential to win this big brother in zamzi season four and his strong personality was not only felt inside the house people outside the house could see how talent in fact the first uh, wager presentation they did Guys, you and I know how talented that guy is. The way he executed his own part. Honestly, I don't really want to dwell too much on that because, guys, talking about Bravo B, I don't, I don't really think like I could see the angle where Mpumi was coming from. Even though people were dragging her, saying all manner of things about Mpumi, but I think Mpumi said, you know, all the things Mpumi said about Bravo B, they were one hundred percent correct this is where i'll be ending this particular video expect another video shortly as i'll be unpacking a whole lot in our next video thanks for watching to this point guys